The final days of the U.S. conflict in Afghanistan were marked by chaos and death. As the rapid advance of the Taliban caught the U.S. military and State Department by surprise. Because of the Biden administration's dereliction of duty, the world watched heartbreaking scenes unfold in and around the Kabul airport for the next two weeks. Congressional Republicans are leading an investigation into the events of August 2021. Democrats argue that the groundwork for the chaotic withdrawal was laid by previous presidential administrations. In the years preceding the 2021 withdrawal, the decision to engage in the direct negotiations with the Taliban at the exclusion of the Afghan government and the invitation to meet at Camp David conferred international legitimacy to the Taliban. Congress is also asking why there is a backlog in processing visas for the tens of thousands of Afghans promised safety in return for assisting U.S. forces. Peter Lucier works for Team America Relief, an organization that has helped support evacuation efforts. This is not the story of a Biden failure or a Trump failure. This is a story of an American failure and the effect it has had and continues to have on Afghans. Ultimately, about 122,000 people were airlifted out of Afghanistan in the days before the handover to the Taliban. But the immigration status for those Afghans who made it to the U.S. is still uncertain, and tens of thousands remain trapped in Afghanistan. We wept as we listened to messages left by children pleading for our help. U.S. service members also testified that unclear rules of engagement at Kabul airport left them defenseless and alleged that ultimately led to the August 26 bombing, the deadliest day for Americans in Afghanistan in 10 years. The withdrawal was a catastrophe in my opinion, and there was an inexcusable lack of accountability and negligence. The 11 Marines, one sailor, <clears throat> and one soldier that were murdered that day have not been answered for. U.S. lawmakers say the secretaries of state and defense will soon be asked to testify about their department's roles in the evacuation. Katherine Gibson, VOA News, Washington.